are here at Addington Manor for the National Judges Convention. I have been asked to do the trot work from the PSG on Wilf. Um, really excited that I got asked to do it and it's going to be an amazing experience for him. I think around 500 people are coming so it'll be really nice to see what he's like in a really big atmosphere. It's also going to be so useful because I have Peter Storr, Isabel Wessels and Sandy Phillips judging and commenting so I get to see their points of view on Wilf and then I can learn from that. Also it's another great excuse to make a new vlog. just given Wilf a little stretch and a walk in the morning as we are on at 1.30, we're on at 1.30 aren't we? Yeah, 1.30. So I just wanted to stretch his legs because we stayed the night before to work him here. Um, so I gave him a little stretch this morning and rode Eagle this morning and yeah, we're just gonna go and watch a bit now and then get him ready. watched a few riders and now I'm going to get Wilfie ready. So now I'm already, Wilf's already, I'm just going to go and tack him up, go and warm up for a little bit and then I'm in at 1.35. I also get to wear my new hat from Shaft which is so cool, I love it. Um, I'll have to get a video out of the back for you guys because it's amazing.
that um, from where I was, the positioning looked fairly good. Um, it, the trot was regular and balanced. For a higher mark, I would have liked to see more cadence to the step, a bit more energy, but I gave seven. I've also got a seven and just said a little more carriage. Exactly, that's exactly yeah. the same as me. I was missing that it was really covering enough ground with enough energy for extended trot. And I was looking to see more ground cover and shoulder freedom and a bit more commitment to the forwardness of the requirement. So I was actually on six. Yes, I was for the same reason. And I think again we all agreed. Um, but I did yes. see her riding the transition at each end, so I gave 6.5 for the transition. Same. Yeah. yeah. I uh, felt that it just needs a little bit more activity and energy, yes. and, and the appearance that there's something different happening. I know we can all be very fussy and say, oh, no, you're running, you know. So you try hard, and we try to add more energy and activity, and then somebody says, oh, it's running, but there should be that clear effort of, of pushing from behind a bit more. The show, from where I was, the shoulder and the Volte and the half pass were much the same. Yeah. And, um, I, for a higher mark, I would like to see more shoulder freedom and an improvement in the self-carriage, but I was on time. Yeah. yeah. So, Sandy, you're going to help with the mirror a little bit. Okay. And you should be sitting in the saddle. If you imagine the shoulders, head and neck of your horse, it sounds rather obvious, but it needs to stay in front of you. So when you close your leg, the shoulders, head and neck of your horse go forward and stay ahead of you. Stop and follow and stop and follow. So you can see, can you feel how his back starts to move? Yeah? He starts to listen to her seat. So when you start to move, he starts to, he starts to listen in his back he'll start to activate from behind, in front of her, without quickening, and she'll start to get more lift, not from her hand, but because of his hind leg, stepping more forward and under to carry her forward, so just play with that. Just go to canter a minute, because what I liked very much when I saw your canter was, now, do the same canter. You don't want the front to come back, you want the hind end to come forward. So move his, jump his hind legs forward, jump him forward. In an active ground covering step. That's good, that's nicely uphill. Okay, now if I want to stop my hip, I don't take the horse back at all. I just ask for a shorter step and let him jump forward in a short step. There you go. Yes, well done, let him stretch. So, I think you would find, if you practice that, that you get lots of gears and you can influence the size of his step purely by following and not following. Well done. So we are all done now, he has been in. Um, he was good in the warm up, the only thing was it was the lunch break and the shop is right next to the warm up so there were so many people um, hustling and bustling around and he did get quite nervous in the warm up so we didn't really relax him as much as I'd like to in that but it's fine, it is what it is. Um, and then I took him into the main arena and he was very nervous um, which is expected because there's a lot of people, big atmosphere. Um, luckily I had five minutes before my test just to get him a little bit more with me. Um, but I really couldn't put the power in that we've been getting at home and maybe at the little local shows but that's fine like I know this will come and then in the test he was good I kind of had to coax him round a little bit I really couldn't ride the power um, I couldn't get my legs on as much as I wanted to to bend him get him in the corners get the half passes um, and start to ride the expression but that's fine, I was really focusing on his relaxation, um, the judges comments were really useful, uh, Sandy's lesson was really good, trying to get me to ride off my seat more which is something that I've been working very hard on recently but she's given me loads of tips I can go away and now improve on that even more. Um, so it was a really successful um, outing and was really fun and yeah. 
great experience. Thank you.